Hi everyone and welcome back to Journaling Junkie. I'm really pleased that you're here today. Um, I've just uh, completed this gothic themed uh, junk journal. It's quite an eclectic one. It doesn't actually run with a theme apart from that it's uh, gothic. Um, it's quite a chunky little monkey. Um, it measures eight and a half by six and a quarter. Uh, there's lots and lots of black lace throughout. It's um, covered in this beautiful black pane uh, velvet. You can see that if it's picking up the texture of the velvet. It's bound with this um, fine ribbon, lace ribbon. Oh, fingers and thumbs. Okay, so the front of the journal, uh, we've got these two fabric flowers. Um, this is a uh, vintage music paper. Um, it's actually uh, Verdi's Requiem is the paper, which I thought was quite good with the theme. Um, I've die cut um, this frame and uh, highlight it with gold. Uh, gel and there's also die cuts here as well little bit of layering and uh, stitching detail around I haven't got too close there for you just hold it there a second so you can take in the detail it's uh, a formidori style fastening so you can actually take the journal out um, and add bits as you like so we'll get straight onto the inside. I hope it's picking up um, here. Let me just show you there that uh, ruffle pocket. That again is that Victorian um, skirt that I keep using. Um, it's um, a silk skirt, um, and we're getting down to the very last few bits of it. So I did a pocket in the front and also at the back. So I started here with a large piece of uh, paper to, that you can journal on. There's a lot of sewing throughout the uh, this journal, lots of uh, sewn on lace. So here with this beautiful image. Uh, this is actually from one of Artie Mays's kits, a gothic uh, uh, kit. Here, a little pocket, and that flips out like this. And so here, with a tag and a couple of little bits of ephemera, and a large journaling card. And then at the back here, a large tag. Sorry, I've just uh, pulled that back out. Then here, we've got this uh, journaling card. It actually comes out like that. Beautiful Victorian image there. I've added again some of this silk Victorian fabric. This flips up for you to journaling. And then on the back, I've made a little pocket there. Um, this is um, coffee dyed paper that um, I've used distress inks on. And the throat's very sore today due to the high pollen. So I may have to uh, just put some music on shortly. So we'll see how it goes anyway. It's a large journaling card there. Pops into that little pocket. And then here, another journaling card. Just clips onto there. Lots of clusters throughout. Little pocket here. This is taken from, I think it's a 1922 um, newspaper booklet. 
Um, it's all about music and auctions and things like that. So here we've got an Artemis pocket. Uh, envelope, sorry. And here I've embossed this and I've uh, sort of fussy cut this image out and stuck it behind. So it's a large journaling card there. Here, this is also from uh, Verdi's Requiem. And I've left that so that actually, I can just find a little bit of ephemera here. You can make two pockets there. So you've got one there and one there. And of course you can decorate or write on here. If that's what you want. Then I've got um, a page from the Sunday Strand it's called. Just bear with me and I'll go and get the book. Excuse my clogs clogging about. This is the uh, the book. It's fantastic. 1894, it says there. If you can pick that out, if it will just focus on it. Um, but it was like a monthly magazine. It's got all sorts of information in. Um, it's, it's very religion-based, some of it. But... Um, some fantastic um, images and illustrations in there. So that's from there. Got that stuck, and then I've made this tag. Here we've got uh, a tuck spot. That there, and it says the closing years of life are like the end of a masquerade party when the masks are dropped. Okay, now I wanted to use a DL envelope here, um, but I wanted a black one, and I didn't have one, so I've actually made one myself. Um, so I've cut out that. Can you see the uh, acetate there just shining? So I made my own envelope and we've got a large tag in there and behind there there's some paper. And I thought with this having that raven on there we'd have a bit of uh, raven script. And lots of journaling space there. Little tag, another one of the clusters, a die cut here, a Tim Holtz die cut. This is printed onto tracing paper. Again, it's one of Artie Mays's, um pages. As is this one, actually. Another large journaling card. As you can see, it's very grungy. And then on this side, that's a journaling card and a tag. And I've just added a little bit of die cut across there and stitched round. A little bit of stamping on the back. Just various textures of fabric there. Um, this is to Dr. Blacklock and it's a page from a Robbie Burns book. It's quite an old book. Here we have another little tag that I've added a lace pocket on, a couple of bits of ephemera. Uh, this one, I've taken some tissue paper and mod podged over the top because it's actually a page from a book. Um, so I've sort of aged it quite a bit. I hope that uh, works out. I think it does. And then uh, this is the, uh, the Raven poem. Oh, 
lovely paper here. Lots of writing space throughout. And again, this is the other page of the Sunday Strand. This was actually already marked on. I haven't coffee stained that. I thought it looked really good. Little pocket here. I've just stamped on there. And a bit uh, of writing paper there. And a journaling card. I'm actually saying that I haven't used kit. When I actually look through, I've used quite a bit of Artemis's. Um, so yes, we'll say that I've used Artemis's <laughs> kit. Okay, this is also from Artemis. Absolutely beautiful. And here I've made sort of a double pocket, if you will. So we have a pocket here. Pocket here, and then if you open that up, another pocket there. So you've um, you can decorate that up the pages, add whatever you like. I've put just pop those in, they're not actually coffee stained on the back, but I just thought actually they look quite nice in there. Okay, then here. We have little flip out so you can write on the tag and then at the back here there's a little tuck spot. I'll just pop that in there as well. There are a couple of bits of ephemera, not a great deal left over and I'll pop them in as well. It will be for sale in my Etsy store uh, later on today. of morning ladies there or ladies in morning should I say and another one of the Tim Holtz die cuts there and the page from the Strand magazine flip out and here a little flip out and journaling card and that's just the same in there. And then behind, little tuck spot with some more journaling paper in there. I've sewn this tag on here. And uh, this is uh, from a notebook, Wuthering Heights. Oops, just curled up a little bit. And some more writing paper there. And here I've made a little pocket with a large tag. Another little tag pocket there. Again, this is the Robbie Burns. I've backed this onto a page from uh, Edgar Allan Poe book, and it says the pit and the pendulum there. And then in here, just a little postcard for journaling on, a little bit of stamping. Another large tag with a, a little pocket there. My throat's beginning to hurt now, but I'm sure I'll be able to get to the end. Um, so here I've embossed some black card and used some of the gilding waxes on there. A little uh, cluster. I just realised I'm quite off there. And a tag and uh, another little notelet page there. It's the uh, other side of the tracing paper. Another one of the Tim Holtz die cuts. That's like a little pocket here. And then here, a journaling tag there. And this flips up. So you could write on here or you could back that with some coffee dyed paper. 
and the same on this side. I get back into the centre. You think I'd get used to doing these videos, but I don't. I'm still nervous doing them after all this time. Another one of the uh, die cuts. And again, this one flips out just the same as the other one did. So you could have two tags or journaling cards. And this can all be decorated up. And again, it's a page from uh, Verdi's Requiem. I've made this uh, large tag here, journaling card. And then here, another large piece of journaling paper and one of Artie Mays' tags. And now I've lost my ear. Oh, it's there. And here, um, I've made another little pocket. It's shining on there, I'm sorry. And that just drops into there. The tag and then another large journaling card and then we're to the back page and again this large pocket here okay well that's the end of the journal I hope you've enjoyed watching the video and uh, enjoy my creation as I say it will be listed on my Etsy store uh, later on today Thank you for watching and I hope to see you all very soon. Thank you. Bye.